that is exposed at the front so that it gives myself I could totally do it myself and this is stopped constantly when I wear it for average 200 and something dollars so when the runway had this listed at about $1,100 I always keep these earrings in. Thought that I'd be healing now. I didn't think I'd have to feel this now. I thought I would have been good morning. It's now Sunday morning and I am up editing a video that I would love to upload for you guys. I spent all yesterday at the salon and then I came home and had to edit three stories and one reel for the sheer moisture campaign. So that took up literally, oh, that took up all my day. The salon and that took up my entire day. So it left no time for me to edit this video. I don't know that I'll finish editing it to upload today since tomorrow is a holiday. I may end up going up tomorrow. Anyway. Happy Sunday, guys. Hopefully, I will um, get that video uploaded today. I will sit on a couch while editing. I'm going to be watching. I don't know if you guys ever watch uh, Married at First Sight, but I love to watch that. That actually is like white noise for me. It, it says it helps to keep my company while I'm editing. That's how I use it. Like, uh, it's sort of a distraction, but it doesn't fully distract me from editing so i can still edit efficiently without feeling like i have to concentrate on a show like if i'm watching a movie and i don't want to miss anything i can't edit the video but with married at first like i can actually listen to what's going on in the background and not be distracted by editing it's like i don't know if i'm gonna continue eating like the raw food diet today or if i'm gonna break that fast today at some point i know chump you know like <laughs> morning are you today i am good uh yesterday was it was a lot yeah it, it was a lot but like if she's heated she's crying you know what i'm saying i don't even know yeah yeah pretty rush Okay, loves, good morning. This is Monday morning. I'm about to do my class. It usually starts at 7.30, but because this is um, President's Day, I've decided that I would do the class at 8.30 instead. So we're about to hop on. It's about 8.28. So I'll see you guys after. Get your balance. So I basically want you to come up so your back isn't curved. Next leg. And that's it. It will feel a little weird. Coordination. Straighten. And slow movement. Use that core. Even though your legs are moving, you're controlling it with your abs. Bring the arms up. Lift the rib cage up. Reach, reach, reach. One more time. Flex the toes. Flex them. Flex them as you bring your arms down. Up. You're like in a modified. All right, guys. So we are now changing out the peel and stick from the counter. All right. So this is what the original counter looked like. We've changed out the peel and stick several times this is probably like the fifth time and this we had white which was really glossy and nice but now we are also planning on changing the back splash i really love this but now that we're changing it to the marble it looks like we are going to need to also change that out so that it, you know it, it works together it's not really blending so well right now Small city thinking I 
I'll now explain a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to apply Fibre Skin Care. It is a seven day program and you will apply the morning treatment every day for seven days. First, clean your face. Get your face very wet. You have a green side and a white side. The green side is always facing away from you. Take white backing off, the nanofibers are under it. Put it on your face, green facing away from you. Pat it down firmly and take it off. You'll see the white is no longer on the back. The nanofibers have dissolved into your face. Make sure to rub in any residue and then let it air dry. Your face may feel a bit tight. I like to apply moisturizer after I do a treatment. You can also put your makeup on right after. And that's it. We hope you enjoy using Fibre Skin Care. This is all I've had all day. Remember I told you guys I was trying to do the raw cleanse this weekend? I kind of fell off. It didn't do too badly. But to kind of make up for it, I decided that for most of today and most of yesterday that I was going to do it. So I did the only raw foods the entire day except for dinner. And for dinner, I had a salad and a piece of chicken. And today, all I'm having is a fresh juice, tons of carrots, apples, ginger, pineapple, oranges. I think that's everything. Maybe some celery might be in there too. But when you put carrots in your juice, it's like everything looks like it looks like it's only carrots in there. The carrots color are so bright. It looks like you're drinking carrot juice. I'm going to show you guys the lipsticks that I got from Prada. I'm going to try them on for you. I'm not a fan of trying on a lot of lipsticks at once because after a while wiping them off and putting them back on, my lips get super, super dry and sore. So I'm going to try, I'm going to really try to get through. There are 10 of them, two, four, six, eight, ten. So I'm going to try to show you all of them. And if I can't get through all of them, at least I'll show you what the lipsticks look like. I actually just tried on a few things for you guys. I wanted you to help me to decide if I should keep something that I just got. And because I'm trying not to spend money frivolously on clothing especially, is why I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these two items one, actually I'm showing you three items one of the items is a dress that I purchased is a knockoff to another dress like the dupe to a dress so this dress I actually still have it on and listen I have to keep pulling it up I have to keep pulling it up and unfortunately <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be wearing this thing anywhere unless I wear it with a pair of trousers because it's way too short So I tried them on for you and the dress, I actually showed you it with a pair of trousers that I'm thinking I'm going to keep. I really like the style of the trousers. They're very well made and I like that it cinches me in at the waist, even though the waist is a little bit too big, it still has that very narrow waistline and then it comes out wider at the hips and this taper in at the feet, which is what I like. I like that look i also love that that trousers has a zipper that is exposed at the front so that it gives it a more edgy look even though it's a tailored pants it looks a little bit more casual but you can obviously elevate it depending on how you style it like styling it with a dress is definitely making it more elevated and putting on a pair of heels you could always make that more casual by pairing it with um, a pair of sneakers or boots or something a little bit um, less dressy. So that pair of trousers is by Line by K. I got them off of Re Revolve. I mean, I shot Revolve a lot, guys. I'm actually a Revolve ambassador, but I don't, I don't subscribe to it anymore. I tried once and I feel like for the uh, uh, Revolve ambassadorship, you have to do a lot to get like your incentives and they like offer like extra incentives every month or like for special occasions they'll offer incentives where you can win like maybe like two thousand dollars or whatever but you have to do a lot of sales to do that and i'm not 
I'm not buying that many things from Revolve to be entering that kind of competition. So that's not for me. I'll continue to shop with them, but I haven't, I haven't really done anything with regards to the ambassador uh, program that they have. So the pants, I also paired with a blazer and the blazer is what I'm not sure that I'm keeping. I feel like I am, I am probably like 80% sure I'm keeping the, the pair of pants that I'm showing you by the line by K. The blazer is by line and dot. So I always wanted a blazer with the feathers on the end of the sleeves. I could do it myself. I could totally do it myself. And this is why I'm thinking I will return that and make the blazer myself. What I have a problem with is that this blazer, even though I want it oversized, is oversized in a way that is kind of like, the only way I like it is when it's open all the way. When I button it, I don't like it that much. Like I would want to add a belt or something to cinch it in and just give me some shape. For this blazer, I don't, I'm not feeling it. So it may go back, guys. I feel like I'm 99.9% sure that I'm going to return it. I'm going to seek out some fabric that is similar to that one and recreate that blazer or a similar blazer for myself. But I'll make it a lot more tailored. Let's go back to the dress now. So this dress, I don't remember the brand that I bought it from. And I've had the dress for a while. Back in December, I ordered it. So when I got back from vacation, the dress was here. I tried it on, I'm like, okay. To me, it's gonna be too much hassle for me to get it back to the people who I purchased it from. So I decided to keep it. But I think that the way I styled it with the pants, is how I'm going to wear it, either with the white pants or jeans or something, but I'm not going to wear it as is. It's just way too short for me. If I can find the order, then I'll be able to tell you what brand. It's a brand that came up on my Instagram page and that happens a lot, you know, your feed, the advertisements. So that is why I purchased that dress. And this is why I want to move away from. I like the dress. I didn't need it for any special occasion. I really didn't need to add it to my wardrobe. Do I mind now that I've purchased it? No, I, I'm i sorry that it's not fitting structured and that it's not low enough, but I'm not like, I'm not that mad about it because I can see myself still wearing it with the, the pants. If I was not able to wear it at all, then I would be, yeah, I'd be very upset. So that's why I'm not trying to scroll through Instagram less mindlessly just because I'm only going to go onto Instagram, check my messages, and I'll check for like if I there are people that I do follow that I definitely love to support because these people also support me. So I always try to make sure I show love. And I set a timer where I do not spend more than an hour on Instagram. In a day, I'm trying to spend no more than two hours. And that is still a lot. So I might even trim it down. Truthfully, I don't spend two hours. I don't spend two hours on Instagram very often. The only time I go over two hours is when I'm working with a brand. If I put up branded content, then I need to check in. I need to respond. Because it's very important that I show that I'm interacting with my audience. Whether or not I work with the brand, that's what I do. But point is that the brand is looking once you post that content. So... Even if I delay in responding to you guys on a, on a post that is not branded, that's fine. Because I always go back and I try to respond to every person's message. But with a brand, because they're looking, I want to respond quickly. By the way, because I worked out this morning, my hair had a lot of definition before. But because I worked out, a lot of definition is gone now. Alright, let's get to these lipsticks. So these are all refillable. So you don't have to throw away the packaging so they actually come out from here some colors don't look good unless I put on a liner all right here's my first impression very moisturizing it glides on smoothly it feels great against my lips love this color okay Prada this one is a go for me this number B15, which is uniform, it looks like the darker version of what I just applied. So, 
though they look very close in color you can see that this is much deeper this is a deeper mauve color I like her a lot she makes me smile actually every lipstick just glides on so smoothly and seamlessly mm. once I smooth this in with my fingers it looks a lot better uh, looks like the first two that I tried on but it's different. I absolutely love this one. It is a true nude for a dark skin or a darker skin. Listen, I like every shade so far. All right, so that's it. That's the last lipstick, guys. Let me know which one is your favorite of all that I tried on. My favorite is Maron. I will definitely wear all of these lipsticks. Though they are matte, I love that they're very moisturizing. So the, yes, Prada, these are all a go. Thank you. All right, guys. I don't know if I'll be back for the rest of the day. And if I'm not, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning fam, it is 6.22 and I'm about to go start my workout. I think I'm going to record this morning's workout, so if I do, I'll insert some of it for you. Otherwise, I will see you guys as I am heading to work. Let's bring the knees up. Two, one, good. You'll notice I'm targeting core a lot, but we're not. Step it out on your toe. This will start to feel a little like cardio. Breathing starts to get heavier. Guys, that was a good sweat fest. My hair is. All right guys, I'm heading out wearing my white jeans. These are from Espress. My boots are from Alohas. This shirt, I got this from the L Train Vintage store and I'm wearing my H&M mock turtleneck sweater underneath. That's my look, let me get my jacket. I'm going to be wearing my Save the Duck white or off-white jacket. I know you've been holding hands with anxiety for way too long Yeah, I take out the same couch Every Friday when your friends are busy living life Well, I know I miss your old days You're in a different headspace And I know you think it's too late But you can turn around Good morning fam. I'm ready for work. I washed my hair last night because it was looking a hot mess. I went to work with it yesterday and I was not happy with it at all. Let me bring it all a little closer. Maybe you guys are too close. But anyhow, I got two lipsticks from YSL Beauty. Um, I may have mentioned that I'm on their PR list. So we got Candy Glaze and Flashing Rose. Let's show you guys what they look like. And then I'm going to apply one or both of them. I don't know if I have enough time now. So this is the Candy Rose. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, actually like this. Let's just look at the other one first. I think I'm only going to apply one right now and maybe put the other one on tomorrow. All right, so the next one I have is 
scenic brown and I feel like I might like the scenic brown more because I tend to prefer a nudie color that kind of matches my complexion and this is see how this looks like it would match my complexion I see you and I like you okay guys so this is going to be my look today I am wearing these white pants that I got from New York and Company. This top is from Anthropology. So I'm going to wear my Air Jordans and let me get my coat and show you guys the final look. outside I haven't moved from my desk much except for grabbing something to eat from the kitchen because we had we had stuff to eat here they actually brought in lunch we usually just have breakfast but lunch was served today because we had like a lunch and learn and yeah it's just been a very busy day but I just wanted to check in with you guys uh, maybe I'll be able to talk to you all this evening after I leave work otherwise I'll see you tomorrow Guys, I really miss the days when it was warm out and I could take nice long walks <laughs> during my lunch. Anyway, I'm going to drop off something to FedEx and that's that. It's after four and I'm for the first time actually walking outside, which I usually do every day. I try to get up and at least take a walk, even if it's a very short walk. work I am currently wearing this blue coat that I got from a 260 sample sale this came from rent the runway I have a story to tell y'all about this coat though <laughs> um, and I'm wearing all black lately I'm just in my black era I just love black right now on me this uh, this is like a crew neck shirt with long sleeves and my full leather jeans, this is from H&M. Wear my Vivaya boots, my booties. I love these. I wear these to work very often. They're my, but these are so comfy. So I can walk for a long time in these and not feel uncomfortable. Hey y'all, so I am now heading out for lunch. It is about three, yeah, just after three p.m. I gotta tell y'all about the coat though. So this brand, Noise, it's spelled with a Z instead of an S. I looked them up. After getting this coat from the sample sale for, for Rent the Runway, and I was so disappointed in them. I'm gonna drop off some mail. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Guys, help me. What should I have for lunch today? I don't know what to eat. Ah, sometimes I get so bored with food back to the brand i love their coats this coat it's beautiful i get stopped constantly when i wear it i walked into work this morning and everyone's like oh, i love the coat and i absolutely love the coat but i am annoyed i will show you in a cutaway the brand's site and the cost of their coats so i went to runway i went to the sale picked up this coat paid about was it 150 180 I guys I can't remember the exact price I paid but anyway it was under $200 but I'm trying to remember if I took a photo of the tag so the tag that they had inside of the jacket said that it was up to $1,100 like the average cost of this coat was $1,100 mind you the coat is not a real fur coat it's a full fur coat I can understand a brand charging that type of money for a coat that is real fur it's not real fur it's full fur so in hindsight when I got home I really wanted to see for myself what the cost of a coat like this would cost 
So I looked at the brand and realized that their coats are average 200 and something dollars. So Rent the Runway had this listed at about $1,100, sold it for the price that they sold it at because they gave you like a list of prices. This, if this is the actual price of the item, this is the discount price, but this is not the actual price of this item online. That's not cool. It caused me to wonder if they do that with even when they're renting out their pieces on the, on the site. Like, do you up the prices so that people are paying like $100 to rent something when the price of the item is about $200 or $300? Like, come on, man. Let me know what you all think about that. Like, would you support a brand that like blatantly lies to you about the cost of their things? I think I'm going to have sweet greens. I haven't had their food in a long time. I've been walking just trying to figure out what to eat and talking to you guys at the same time. All right, let me go in here. See what I can find. All right, may I have the guacamole greens? I love this big oversized shirt. I like the cut of it. I'm wearing the shirt in a medium. I really love how it fits that whole oversized, slouchy, and it has this crinkle fabric.
am happy friday i feel like if this is the first time i came on for the day it's been a busy day for me i had a ton of work to do but i also got two other lipsticks in from ysl beauty i may have mentioned it earlier this week so i thought i should try these on as well if my lips will allow <laughs> Oh my god i feel like i'm all lipsticked out guys i don't want any more lipsticks Let's thank put you put it on without applying anything else so i just took off what i had on before i think it looks good with or without the lip liner the lip liner just gives it the ombre effect that most of us are going for these days today i was a little over my nails and i decided to put on some press-ons i would have mentioned before that i had squeezed my nail this thumb in the car door i slammed the car door on it actually so it was bloodshot and i actually had to go to the doctor for it to me the finger was fine but i lost the nail completely so it fell out and eventually the other nail started to grow back but it just looked horrible and i couldn't do anything with it and i didn't want to do my nails and leave this one without something on it so i just kept my nails bare for the last three or so months and since then the nail has grown out i could have polished my nails but i find polish doesn't last very long well regular polish that is and it is so much faster for me to apply press-ons. This is what they're looking like. Now I've had these press-ons at home for a while. I have these in another set, but these are the shorter ones. And because I haven't been wearing my nails long for a while, I decided to go with very short ones. I actually prefer to wear shorter nails, especially if it's press-ons, because I find that when my nails are too long, I it's a hindrance i can't do all the things that i want to do i can't button my my clothes properly i can't open up a lid like it's just crazy i can't pick things up so i don't know how people do it i do not know how people do it with having extremely long nails so this is a very good length for me guys and if it's a little bit longer than that no problem but this is the length that i prefer i prefer this length it's very comfortable i think it is tasteful i like it one of the things i wanted to share with you was the styling of this corset that I got from Timu. Now I picked up this corset because I thought it, would, it looked very interesting. I really like the detail at the bottom and like a full peplum look to it. So I like that. Just didn't have anything that I thought I could style it with, but I actually do. So I styled it for you guys today and I'm wearing this high neck knitted top. I picked this up from Anthropology last year. I may have shown you guys or maybe I didn't I, I don't know but yeah since last year I picked this up so, so I added the corset over this top and then I paired it with this pants that was from the Amazon Times High Low Lots no Jenny and Nealers collab really love how this here just work together none of the colors actually match they just blend together really really well it's, I just wanted to style it up to see how it would look so this look has the it has to go somewhere guys i don't know where and i don't know when but we've still got time i'll try to get the link for the corset for you and leave it in the description box i don't think i might find links to this uh, knitted top since i've had it for at least four or more months i thought i might find this again and you're definitely not gonna find this pants this pants is done since that collab and that's it wore it with a pair of gold heels i accessorized a little bit i wore my ear cuff this was from mano this is an indian brand and they had reached out to me they sent me over a few things oh and i'm actually wearing an, the ring from them as well and this necklace is by mac and miles i yeah that's that was it oh and this little ring on my forefinger that i think i may have gotten i don't know i've had this ring for a long time guys so let me not lie and tell you where i got that from it's been too long to remember i always keep these earrings in the set that you're seeing here now these are all from amazon and they're all they're all like stainless steel because they're all stainless steel i'll leave the name of the brand where i got this earring from i actually went to a pop-up store the brand is based in europe and they have a few stores like around the european areas but they don't yet have one in new york but 
they're looking to open up a location here at some point. This is actually white gold. So it's not a diamond. This was a man-made diamond. And I love them. So I keep these in my ears all the time. I actually sleep in them, shower in them. Do not take them out unless I want to insert another earring. And if I put another earring in, as soon as I take them out, I put these back in. I have them switched up on this side. I have them switched up so they're not exactly the same way that I have them on this side. And that is my look. I think my makeup was done so good today, guys. I took my time. One of the things that I don't do anymore is, like, I don't put a ton of makeup on. My makeup routine is very, very basic. I use a little bit of my foundation under my eyes, my laugh line, and a little bit under my chin for the dark spots that I have from, in, from here, like, you know, from here growth, you know, hormonal over 50 problems <laughs> so I don't pluck and even if you pluck you can still get anger in here but I remove the the hair so it leaves these dark spots under my chin area I've, I've probably told you guys this already if you're not new here you already know I was getting laser hair removal I still didn't finish that and it's it still needs some more work so I think I'm gonna find a different dermatologist to go to because I, I was seeing her for so long with this hair on my chin and I feel like it's not it's not getting any better it's the same i've had several treatments guys like what the hell is that and i know on your face that your face is a little bit more sensitive to other areas of your body so you have to have a setting that is uh, i guess a little bit more mild but by now for the amount of treatments that i've had they should have been gone guys and i'm like all right you've got enough of my money laters I'm, I'm gonna go look for another um, dermatologist and try to get those removed because i hate them i hate to see the dark spots there and there's nothing i can do about them until those hairs are gone you know but yeah simple makeup just like i was saying my foundation i put on a little bit of um, my concealer under my eyes and again a little bit of concealer here i don't put any foundation on the circumference of my face because that part of my face is pretty clean so i don't really need any foundation there but I blend out the concealer so very very little makeup goes around the circumference of my face and lately I've not really been using ear um, like eyeshadows and whatnot I've been I've been doing like the winged eye no eyeshadow or anything and just my false lashes and mascara and I feel like that is kind of like my go-to makeup from now on. But today I wanted to do a little bit more. So I did a little sparkle on the eyes. And that's it. Let me know if you're interested in like the lashes that I use. So th today I didn't put on the ones that I go that I put under. I use my strips. These are wispies, I think. Actually, I had them close by, so let me show you what they look like. The brand is Coromiro. It's Coromiro Professional Lashes. These are my faves. This pack is going to last me for a very long time. There are 14 pairs in here. A pair of these strips could probably last me for two weeks if I take good care of them. And that's it. All right, guys. I rambled enough, talked enough. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't know how much vlogging I'm going to do tomorrow because I don't really, I don't want to make this vlog too long. But hopefully you've been enjoying spending the days with me even though you don't really spend the entire day with me, but you get a peek into how my days are. I am going to go look for something to eat because I am hungry. All I had today was breakfast, so and it's dinner time now. It's, I think it's like close to 6 p.m. All right, loves. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, fam. This is Saturday morning. Happy Saturday to you. I know it's not probably not Saturday while you're watching this, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I woke up around 7, took a shower. I take a very long shower in the mornings. Most mornings before my workout. I feel like I spend maybe 20 to 30 minutes in the shower. And to me, like, I take a shower before I go to bed most nights. Yeah, sometimes I get lazy and I don't want to shower at night. But most nights I shower before I go to bed. In the mornings, you know, when you wake, you only sleep. You don't need to take a very long shower in the mornings to cleanse yourself. Because you've basically, you know, or rather I, let me speak for myself. I've already done that, you know, 
full thorough cleaning the night before but I like to stay in that shower I like to massage myself I love to let the water just run over my body I have a brush that I use to like just give myself a nice exfoliation in the mornings and that also wakes up my muscles like it gets my body loose and ready for my workout so I spend about 20 to 30 minutes in there just sometimes I just stand on the, the water and it feels so good yeah I feel refreshed and revised y'all had a good night's sleep I went to bed maybe like around 11 I was watching The Last Airbender. I love anything like that. So there's a series now on Netflix with The Last Airbender. I'm really enjoying that right now. I think I'm almost at the end of it though. So after that, I'll be finding something else to do. I'm almost done editing my video for this week that I'll be uploading tomorrow for Sunday. I used to try to upload for Fridays and that was not working out. So I switched it back to Sundays, which was the original time that I used to upload. Anyways, so I'm here having my substitute coffee I still say coffee even though it's not really coffee so I'm just sipping on it while I'm finishing the editing it is almost eight workout starts at nine so I have about 45 minutes I would say that I could continue editing and hopefully I can get that done I really need to get back to my sewing and I have a few things that I need to also continue making um, patterns for so once all the patterns that I am looking to make are done then I will cut out the fabric and then I will start sewing. So I'm not, I, I feel like it's better for me to cut everything out, like the patterns, and then move on to cutting out the fabrics and then move on to sewing because I don't have a, a special sewing space. So I usually use the kitchen and I have a fold out table that I fold out and I then I have to put it away. So I want that everything has like a particular order to it so when I'm pulling out that table and I set it up for sewing it's different to setting it up for cutting out stuff so this is why I'm still cutting stuff out and haven't sewn anything yet because I have that order to it so today I want to continue cutting out the other patterns that I need to finish I have a few things that I I I'm thinking of creating for this New York Fashion Week for September and I need to get a head start because I am always rushing every single time and when I think I have a lot of time I don't have time like different things come up that cause me to like okay I'm gonna do it next week I'm gonna do it next week comes and goes and it never gets done so I really have to make a concrete plan to get this done and be active about it and not just say it in my head I'm gonna do it yeah <laughs> I told you, well I know you Been holding hands with anxiety for way too long Yeah, I take out the same couch Every Friday when your friends are busy living life Well, I know you miss the old days You're in a different headspace And I know you think it's too late But you can turn around Sunday morning and I intended to wrap up the vlog yesterday but I was so busy trying to finish up the edits on this last one this previous one that I forgot I forgot I didn't end off this vlog so I wanted to say thank you guys so much for joining me again on another video thanks for subscribing thanks for giving me a thumbs up and thanks for sharing my videos with your friends and your loved ones I appreciate you all so much and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one.